The year was 1867 and a cold, damp Ireland lay under the shadow of British rule, a land of suffering, poverty, and political repression. Yet amidst the lingering pain of the Great Famine and the iron grip of British governance, a flicker of hope and defiance emerged. The Fenian Rising, as it came to be known, was not just another failed rebellion. It was a significant event in the long and arduous struggle for Irish independence. Though brief and ultimately unsuccessful, the Fenian Rising left a deep mark on Irish history, planting the seeds of future revolutions. This documentary delves into the events of 1867, the men and women behind the Rising, and the legacy that inspired generations of Irish revolutionaries to come. To fully understand the Fenian Rising, we must first travel back in time to Ireland in the mid 19th century. Ireland had been under British rule for centuries, but the wounds of colonization ran deep. By 1867, the effects of the Great Famine, which had devastated the country just two decades earlier, were still palpable. Over a million people had perished due to starvation and disease, and another million had fled the country. Ireland's population, which had once stood at over 8 million, was drastically reduced. The famine had exposed the stark inequalities between the Irish and the British, and the continued presence of British landlords and institutions further inflamed tensions. Ireland at this time was a land of misery. Poverty was rampant, and the people had little control over their own destiny. Land ownership was concentrated in the hands of a few British landlords, while the vast majority of the population worked as tenants, eking out a meagre existence. The penal laws, though officially repealed earlier in the century, had left a legacy of anti-Catholic discrimination, and political representation for the Irish was virtually non-existent. The British government continued to tighten its grip on Ireland through harsh laws, repression, and military occupation. Irish nationalists had long sought ways to challenge British rule. Movements like the Young Irelanders had risen and fallen, and earlier revolts, such as the 1798 Rebellion, had ended in bloodshed. But the dream of independence was kept alive, passed down through generations of Irish patriots. By the 1850s, a new force began to take shape, one that would play a pivotal role in the events of 1867. The Fenian Brotherhood, named after the Fianna, legendary warriors of ancient Ireland, was founded in America by Irish immigrants. It was a transatlantic organization dedicated to Irish independence, and its sister organization in Ireland was known as the Irish Republican Brotherhood, or IRB. The Fenians believed in a simple and uncompromising goal, Irish independence through armed revolution. The Fenians were inspired by Republican movements across Europe, particularly the revolutions of 1848. They were men of action, influenced by the principles of liberty, equality, and fraternity that had animated other nationalist movements. Many of them were veterans of the American Civil War, who had gained military experience on the battlefields and now hoped to use those skills to free their homeland. The Fenians believed that Ireland could only achieve independence through force of arms. Unlike other nationalist groups that sought constitutional reform or political compromise, the Fenians were committed to revolution. They began planning a coordinated uprising in Ireland, one that would be supported by Irish-American allies and sympathizers across the globe. By the mid-1860s, the stage was set for what they believed would be the final blow to British rule in Ireland. The Fenian Brotherhood, operating in both Ireland and America, began stockpiling weapons, recruiting members, and gathering intelligence on British forces in Ireland. The IRB in Ireland, led by men like James Stevens and Thomas J. Kelly, began to organize cells throughout the country. Though secrecy was paramount, the British authorities were well aware of the growing Fenian threat. They had spies and informants within the organization, and preparations for the rising were compromised from the outset. The Fenians faced a number of challenges in organizing the uprising. Not only were they up against the formidable might of the British military, but they also had to contend with internal divisions, limited resources, and a lack of popular support. Many Irish people were weary of violence after years of hardship and famine, and they were skeptical of the Fenians' ability to succeed where others had failed. Despite these challenges, the Fenians pressed on. They planned to launch a coordinated series of attacks on British military installations and police barracks across Ireland. 
The uprising was set for March 5, 1867, a date chosen to catch the British authorities off guard. But even as the Fenians made their final preparations, the British government was tightening its net around them. In the early hours of March 5, 1867, the Fenian Rising began. Small groups of Fenians attacked police stations and military barracks in Dublin, Cork, Limerick, and other parts of Ireland. Armed with little more than pikes, outdated rifles, and their determination, they hoped to spark a nationwide revolt that would topple British rule. But the British authorities were ready. In Dublin, the Fenians attacked the police barracks at Tala, but they were met with stiff resistance. The British forces, equipped with modern weapons and well-coordinated defenses, quickly repelled the attackers. In Cork, another group of Fenians launched an attack on the city's military barracks, but like in Dublin, they were quickly overpowered. In Limerick, the story was much the same. Though there were scattered acts of rebellion across the countryside, the rising failed to gain the momentum that its leaders had hoped for. It was clear from the outset that the Fenians were outmatched. Their plans had been compromised, and the British forces were well prepared for the attack. They simply didn't have the numbers or the firepower to succeed. Within days, the Rising had been crushed. By March 8, 1867, the Fenian Rising was effectively over. Hundreds of Fenians had been arrested, and many others had gone into hiding. British forces moved swiftly to suppress any remaining pockets of resistance, and martial law was imposed in several parts of Ireland. Trials and executions followed, as the British sought to send a clear message, any attempt to challenge British rule would be met with harsh consequences. Though the Fenian Rising was a military failure, it had a profound impact on the Irish nationalist movement. It was the first major rebellion in Ireland since the Great Famine, and it reignited the spirit of resistance among the Irish people. The British government's heavy-handed response only fueled resentment, and many saw the Fenians as martyrs to the cause of Irish freedom. While the rising itself had failed, it left a lasting legacy. Many of the Fenians who survived the uprising went on to play key roles in the future Irish nationalist movements. The Fenian Brotherhood in America continued to support the cause, raising funds and organizing efforts to keep the dream of Irish independence alive. Over the years, the memory of the Fenian rising became a symbol of resistance, inspiring later generations of Irish revolutionaries including those who would lead the Easter Rising of 1916. In the years following the Fenian Rising, the political landscape in Ireland began to shift. The failed rebellion had raised awareness of the nationalist cause both in Ireland and abroad. In America, the Irish immigrant community continued to support the Fenians, raising funds and lobbying politicians to support Irish independence. Though the Fenian Rising had been a military failure, it had succeeded in keeping the flame of Irish nationalism alive. The Fenians played a critical role in the evolution of the Irish nationalist movement. They were the first to embrace a truly republican vision for Ireland, one that rejected any compromise with the British crown. Their legacy can be seen in later movements, from the Irish Parliamentary Party to the Irish Republican Army. The Easter Rising of 1916, in many ways, was a direct continuation of the Fenian tradition. The legacy of the Fenian Rising also extended beyond Ireland. In America, the Fenian Brotherhood continued to grow, and in 1868, they even launched an audacious raid on Canada, hoping to pressure Britain into granting Irish independence. Though the raid failed, it demonstrated the global reach of the Fenian movement and its determination to challenge British authority wherever it could. Today, the memory of the Fenian Rising is honoured in Ireland and among Irish communities worldwide. It serves as a reminder of the long and difficult struggle for independence, a struggle that would eventually culminate in the establishment of the Irish Free State in 1922. Though the men and women of 1867 may not have lived to see the fruits of their labour, their courage and determination helped to pave the way for future generations. The Fenian Rising of 1867 was more than just a failed rebellion. It was a symbol of defiance, a reminder that the desire for Irish independence could not be extinguished. The men and women who took up arms in 1867 were driven by a deep love for their country and an unshakable belief in the right of the Irish people to govern themselves. 
Though they were defeated, their sacrifice would inspire future generations to continue the fight for freedom. The spirit of the Fenians lives on in the hearts of those who continue to fight for justice, equality, and independence. Their story is a testament to the power of hope and the enduring strength of the human spirit. The Fenian rising may have been crushed, but it was not the end of the Irish struggle. It was just the beginning. Thank you for joining us in this documentary on the Emerald Chronicle. Your interest in the history of the Fenian Rising and its enduring legacy means a great deal. By exploring the struggles and sacrifices of those who fought for Irish independence, we honor their memory and the ongoing fight for justice and equality. We appreciate your engagement, and if you found value in this documentary, please like, share, and subscribe. Your support helps us continue to bring important stories to light and keeps the spirit of the Fenians alive as we strive for a brighter future. Thank you.